Hello friends, Dan from On One here, and I want to show you some big improvements that we have to the On One Photo Raw for mobile app. If you remember last year, we did kind of a big user interface update to Photo Raw on the desktop. This year, we've brought a lot of those same concepts to the mobile app. We want to make it easier to use, especially for a one-handed user. I'm going to show you here on a phone today, but we've also made improvements to the tablet version as well. And these are all going to be inside of the edit module. So when you have a photo that you want to work on and you tap on the edit button at the bottom, you notice down here at the bottom, the options have been simplified. There's now a single develop option, and this encompasses everything that you used to do inside of the tone section, color section, and detail section. Those were all individual sections with old fashioned sliders. They've been consolidated into one new modern carousel style control. And the first option you'll have is Brilliance AI our built-in automatic AI-based tone and color correction. To use it, just tap Brilliance to turn it on and it'll apply to your photo. You can then use the slider to control how strong you want the adjustment to be. You can then swipe to the right and see each individual adjustment within the develop control. You'll see exposure and contrast. You'll notice how some of these have non-zero values. Those are the adjustments that were applied automatically by Brilliance AI. And I can go through and adjust those independently if I want to. This more modern control makes it a lot more fun to do the basic edits on your photos. But we've also brought this to other sections like effects and local adjustments as well. So I'm going to tap on the effects icon. You'll notice there's a new blue layer button. All I do is press the layer button to select a new filter that I want to add or to switch between filters that are in my stack. So I'm just going to tap this button and I can choose a new filter to add. Let's say I want to add a glow filter. So I can just tap on glow. You'll see how the glow filter has now been consolidated into this new control as well. There's a slider for adjusting the amount of glow. I can swipe to change the halo or the radius and the opacity of the filter. And then at the bottom, I can select the different blending mode options that I want to use. And of course, you can always double click to zoom in and look at your photo closer. And if you click and hold, you'll see a before and an after. So I'm just going to dial in the amount that I want. There we go. Double tap to go back to fit. Let's say I want to add a vignette now. I simply tap on the layer icon again. You'll see, I now see a list of all of the filters that I've added. So far, I've only added a glow. I can turn that on or off. I can target it for masking. I can reset it or remove it. To add another filter, press the plus button and select the next filter you'd like to add. I'm going to add a vignette. Now we're in the vignette filter and I can adjust the brightness slider to place it where I want it to be. I can control its size and its shape and even the feather, how much it graduates. There we go, something like that. And as I mentioned, we've also used this same control for local adjustments. So let's say I wanna apply an adjustment just to the foreground pumpkin. I can tap on the local adjustment mode. It's automatically added a new filter for me. I'm just going to adjust my brush size to make sure it's about the size of my pumpkin here. And I wanna have a nice big feather on it. There we go. And now I do is I just use my finger to brush over that pumpkin. And now I can select what I want to adjust. In this case, I want to increase the color and the detail a little bit. So I'll go to the structure slider and I'll increase the structure. And then we'll go to the temperature slider. I'm going to make it a little bit more yellow and a little bit more magenta so that it really pops out a bit more. There we go. Then simply tap and hold to see the before and the after. There you go. That's just the beginning of some big improvements we have coming to Photo Raw for mobile this next year. Thanks for watching.